I put in uh, my first PhD in 1980, and uh, I had three of the most prominent uh, education researchers in the country examining me. Um, they didn't even think that it was worthwhile that I resubmit my doctorate. And then in, again, 1982, I put in what was counted as a totally different doctorate, but which was actually on the same ideas. And again, three eminent academics uh, claimed that uh, this was not only uh, not worth a uh, doctorate, you know, because most people can get permission to resubmit. I was not to be permitted to resubmit. And uh, the university wrote to me to say that under no circumstances could I question the competence of my examiners once they'd been appointed. Now, that actually offended me more than the judgment that I wasn't to be awarded the doctorate. It was the feeling that I, could, I was not being permitted to question the judgments. Um, now, what happened then was that I started to develop a very successful track record of successful supervisions of doctorates of my own. And then my own students um, started to pressurize me, this was about 1998, uh, to put in another doctorate. And I did that in 1999. And um, the three examiners just started the viva by saying, look, Jack, you know, this is a creative piece of work. There's no question you've got your doctorate. Now let's have a good conversation. And <laughs> by then, I think that the ideas have become much more acceptable than they were when I first put forward them, you know, in 1980 and 82. But I was very pleased that in the doctorate that went through, I included the 1980 and 82 doctorates that have been failed, you know, so that you'll see that the ideas um, which were rejected early on were then accepted.